Well, this is my new book. I'm Richard Domessa, the author. I live in Yates and I work here in Devizes and I wrote this book specifically about Alfred the Great's period of time. He's one of our greatest kings and I wanted to write a book about his period of history because without Alfred you don't have England and if he hadn't defeated the Danes at the Battle of Eddington in May 878 then we would probably by now be a province of Denmark and the, and the um, Norman invasion may never have taken place. So this is a story of survival and revenge in the days of Alfred the Great. It has a heroine, there she is. Her name is Brownie of Foxley. This book is set in, starts in Chippenham and is based in Wiltshire. She's a heroine. She lives in Foxley, which is near Malmesbury, a small village, and uh, witnesses the destruction of her family by the Danish warlord of Seitel, who's real. He's named in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle as one of the three Danish kings, Guthrum, Ossitel and Anand, who were in Cambridge in 874, and he attacks um, Bryony's home. There are reasons why that happens, but at the same time as Guthrum pounces on Chippenham from Gloucester in the winter in January, Epiphany 878, so her home is destroyed, and she's the only survivor. She watches her family destroyed from um, a midden, from a family midden where she's hidden herself and when it's all over and her family has been butchered and the household has been destroyed, she swears a binding oath on her father's body that she will be revenged on this warlord. And that's really what this book is about, it's about her adventures and how she becomes part of the resistance movement that Alfred set up from Athelney, where he was driven out in the winter by Guthrum with his family. How he got out of Chippenham still remains an extraordinary story. This book will give you one idea of how this might have happened. And he went with his family, he'd come up from Winchester for Christmas, his wife had a baby at the breast, the weather was appalling, the worst winter the country had endured for years. And he got out and was driven into sanctuary in Athelney. And from there, the Anglo Saxon Chronicle says that he created a fortress and he went on to attack the Danes wherever he could find them. And he set up this resistance movement because this was going on in other parts of Wessex at the same time. And that enabled him in Easter, after Easter in 878 to raise the great army and destroy the Danes utterly at the Battle of Eddington in May 878. He chased the Danes back to Chippenham where they from whence they had come and he pinned them there. He hanged all the Danes he could find outside the city, outside the town, and two weeks later the Danes surrendered. They gave in and the leader, King Gusland, became a Christian and so did his leading members. And so this story is very real. All the people, all the places that, that they go to, from Foxley to, for, to Ford near Castle Coombe, near what is now Castle Coombe, and Slaughterford and Biddeston, all villages just beyond Chippenham, and then to Warminster, and then finally to the battlefield at Eddington. So it's a lively story, and it's given me great pleasure to write it and, re and research it. I've taught the subject for 40 years, so I do know what I'm talking about. It is real. And that's where I'm here now, selling my books. And how much is it, Richard? It's 9.99, and it's the first of two books. This is the first one, and ends with a cliffhanger. I won't tell you what happens, because right. I will spoil the story. And then the second book ends on the battlefield, with an epilogue to follow it. Right, well good. And you can buy the book where? Well, you can get the book from me, here in the marketplace. I'm here every Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Or you can get it from my website, and I send the books out in puffer bags to everybody, which I've been doing with my medieval series, White Rose, for the last 18 months. And what is your website, Richard? It's www.richarddomestly.co.uk. Right, excellent. Thank you, Richard. Well, thank you very much indeed. It's been a pleasure, and I hope people will buy my, come and buy my book and enjoy it. Lots of people have to. I'm told it's a good story.